Hello, hello everybody. If you are a regular watcher of my channel, you know that I provide the absolutely free tool Convert with Mox, which allows you to convert between many, many multi-sample formats. So you can also now convert from Native Instruments Contact to the open formats SF set, SF2 as a source, and I add a decent sampler and many, many more. You can read all the details on my webpage. But I got some inquiries from users also asking about can you support the format of 1010 music? So 1010 music has two really nice little samplers. So we have here the black box, which is on the market for quite some time. And now quite new is here the nano box tangerine, which is also a sampler. And they use the same format. And yeah, I basically asked 1010 Music, are you interested in that, that I support this format as well? And yeah, they sent me over these two little boxes for testing. So many thanks for that. And until I'm ready with the implementation for the update for Convert with Moss, I thought, why not have a look at these little samplers, what they can do and give you some opinions about the pros and cons. I will not go in all the details what you can do with it because there's tons of videos already on the internet but I will give you my personal impression about the devices. So let's jump right in. I already unpacked the two things so the main difference if you look at the devices is to see this one is metal and it feels very solid and is quite surprisingly quite heavy and the Nanobox Tangerine, on the other hand, is fully plastic and quite lightweight, but nevertheless, it feels quite solid. So there's no shaking or wobbling or anything on the knobs. Same also here. So everything sits really nice and tight and feels very, very trustworthy and solid. So what are the differences here? If we look at the back of the both devices, you will see they both are powered via USB and the, the black box has a traditional USB connector and the new one has an USB-C and I think it's both fine because I prefer the old one because it's a little bit more solid, especially if you want to use it in a live context. So what else do we have? We have here a MIDI in and out connector, both on these little connectors, which is uh, maybe not the thing I like the most, but nevertheless, for such a small device, it makes absolutely sense. And we have here the same on that device, it's here in the middle, also a MIDI input and an output. And we get here also a clock in and output with many, many options you can choose. But here on the Tangerine, we only have here a clock input. So you can only control it via clock, but not send out clock, which is, I think, is fine. We have many, many outputs here on the black box. We have three outputs which are stereo so you get three stereo outputs and you can also trigger them to mono so which means you got six mono outputs and you also have the phones one which always mixes the other outputs together so you can monitor it via phones on the Tangerine, we only get one output also one stereo output as well as a stereo line input here and also on the black box we have one line input and this gives you quite nice features there is also a fully blown auto sampler in there so you can create your multi samples also directly from the device by simply connecting an input and sending out a midi data to the device there is one pro feature on the Tangerine, which is not on the black box, because via USB, you can also send MIDI on that one, which is not yet possible, or maybe I'm not sure if this is coming ever on the black box. But I also had some issues with that when using it. Maybe it's my USB port, I don't know. I reported it to 1010 Music and they're looking into that as well. So I used the MIDI input, the traditional one, and this worked absolutely fine. So what else is in the boxes here? It comes in some nice boxes and in the small one, if we have a look at it. So besides what we got, I already uh, removed the device, but we also get one MIDI adapter. So if you need two adapters, so if you want to have an adapter for in and output, you need to purchase an additional one. 
and there's also a little getting you started manual. By the way, manuals are really great. Big kudos for 1010 Music. They're quite longish and really nice to read and you absolutely should read them because not everything is clear on first sight. So check them out as well. So having also a look at the big box here of the black box, there's a bit more in the package. You also get a quick start introduction manual, but here you will find here now also adapters and you also get here a power adapter with different connectors for the different countries. And so you can also power it via a traditional plug and which you can also do with the other one if you get such a connector. I guess you have lying around many, many of these USB chargers, so it's not an issue that it's only on the big device. And if you are on the go, you could also use such a power adapter and you can also power them here for on the go if you are not near a power plug. So I tested this as well. This is also working nicely. They both have a micro SD connector on the tangerine, it's in the back and here on the black box, it's on the front. And yeah, you can put in quite large cards which contain your samples. So, so much for the hardware. Let's fire them up and see what the software can do. What can you now actually do with that? So the main idea was that you have here 16 pads or so pad grid and you can load a sample in each of these slots. But since then the concept did quite evolve. You have now different engines for these 16 slots and you can also assign different MIDI channels to that, which means you can play all 16 slots individual via a keyboard. You could also layer sounds. You could have a multi-sample in one slot and in the second another multi-sample create a layer. What is not possible yet is you cannot create splits. So for example, if you want to play a bass in the lower part of the keyboard and in the upper part you want to play a lead sound. You cannot do that right now. For such a use case you would need a master keyboard which can create splits and send different parts of the keyboard to different MIDI channels. That's also the basic difference. The black box has 16 slots while the nanobox tangerine has only 8 slots but also eight slots is already very powerful since even if you start with the easiest use case to have a drum machine loaded inside of the nano box you can also create a multi-sample of drum sounds so you could also put 127 drum sounds into only one slot and then add seven more for different sounds and multi-sample but there is a quite heavy restriction there is 64 megabyte but that's not the issue because it's only used for caching so both devices are streaming from the SD card, so you can stream quite large samples. You can also have this as a playback device, so you could stream a full song or even longer sounds as a background playback machine. And this works quite nicely, which I also tried. So, but the limitation is that you can load only 80 samples in one preset. So a preset is a setup of 16 slots here, 80 samples currently. And in the nano box, it's more, it's 576, which is a bit strange since I think that one has a better processor. But I asked also 1010 Music about it and they're thinking about also increasing it here on the black box. And I'm still thinking, how I can support this in convert more. So you will get options. I think that you can, for example, lower the number of samples used in the multi-samples or remove layers. And yeah, let's see how this turns out in the end. So, and that's another difference. You can have here different engines. So if you go into the setup of such a pad by pressing here the info button. Here you have different engines. You have the normal sample ones. You can have a clip, which is more like the playback engine for larger ones. You can have a slicer where you play different slices of a longer drum groove, for example, and you have a granular machine. And that's the difference to the Nanobox. The Nanobox does not have the granular engine. But besides that, uh, quite similar and only have some details, but also the engine, what you can do with it and effects you have are quite similar. So that's the next thing if you go on here. Uh, 
into the setup you see here you have the usual options you have a filter which is not the best filter in the world but it does the job but if you expect something analog filterish sounding that's not the case and you have an envelope that's also a bit of a limitation you only have one envelope for volume so no specific filter volumes and no specific pitch envelopes besides that you have an lfo which you can also assign to different setups so there is a setup matrix which you can have with that and there are different configurations how the samples should play to which outputs you want to assign of these six output options you can have options for having Having it in mono mode, in poly mode, you have also different exclusive groups where you can mute, for example, an open hi hat with a closed hi hat, and things like that. So it's quite okay on a basic level. It does the job for sampling, but it's maybe not your sound design tool if you expect that. So I guess the main use case is one for one to have a small drum groove set up with some effects on it, or to have a backup machine for playing playing longer tracks, play on top of that some multi-sample sounds also from a keyboard. Ah, by the way, I also forgot we have here another USB connect on the back for the black box. So here you could also connect directly a keyboard, which you cannot do here on the nano box. So not via the USB, here you need to use the MIDI connector. Another difference is here you can now create sequences and in these sequences for the black box you can play multiple sequences. So for example you could play one sequence with drum sounds, you could play another one with a bass sound which can trigger any of these other 16 sounds setups you have. And on a nano box you can only create, let's go to the sequences, here you also have have 16 sequences but you can only play one at a time so it's also not a big issue you can also play the bass and the drums and everything in one sequence but then you don't have this separation anymore and here on a black box you also have the song mode which allows you then to combine a certain number of our sequences into one scene and that can now play it from a song view so you could add another one and another one you can create multiple scenes and they play then for a certain amount of time which you can configure or bars which you can configure and then it loops back that's quite powerful option to have and that does not exist on the nano box on the nano box you can only play these 16 sequences so then effects you have two master effects so there is one uh, delay effect and one reverb effect the mixer has the usual things you can address these two master effects and you can have panning and you also have this view for muting certain sounds so this is quite nice you can move your finger uh, over it and then it mutes straight away and the preset one finally is where you can load up your presets what is also quite nice that you can trigger these presets so the first 127 presets which are in your folder can be addressed via MIDI program change and they load very fast since as I said uh, the samples are streamed so it loads very fast in the black box and then you can quite quickly switch to the next song you have here prepared in your black box. So I talk quite a lot but let's also hear something so this is a little test I created which has two sequences so one is a bass playing another one is a drums and I have here two sections so the section second one jumped now in where the drums came in and this works quite nicely yeah, so much for the introduction. This already went much longer than I have planned. And as I said, in a follow-up video, we will look then into supporting this format of the black box in Convertive MOS and we'll also do some more listening and I will also do some playing on the keyboard so we can check out these sounds. And until next time, make some funky music.